Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Today my wife Hannah is with me and we're gonna to talk to you about one of the budget purchases that we've recently made that we feel has really helped us to enjoy our outings into the great outdoors. I know you've already seen it in the thumbnail and the title, but I'm gonna let her show you exactly what we got. Here we have the portable Expert Grill. Like I said, we really feel like this has helped us to get a lot of enjoyment out of our outings recently. So let's talk a little bit about what we paid for it and what it is that we love so much about it. So recently we decided that we wanted a portable grill to take with us on camping trips, but especially for our trips to the lake where we could just have something we could go anywhere we wanted and make our meal for the day and not be bound by maybe a picnic area that had a charcoal grill set or something like that. Came across this one for just $25 at Walmart pretty much the cheapest grill I could find anywhere and decided to go ahead and give it a try. Now, Hannah's gonna tell you some things that she really likes about this grill, but before she does, I wanna tell you why we went with propane over charcoal because for a little while I really was considering going with a charcoal grill. You can get some just about this size that are made for charcoal. A friend of mine started talking to me and he really made me think about how long it takes to get the charcoal to warm up, to get it all really going nice and hot, and then also how long it takes to cool down. And because we're using it around the boat, and a lot of times we're just jumping off on the shore somewhere and doing this, it really actually is super nice to just have the propane, uh, take the lighter, light it up, and just really fast you have hot heat and you can start cooking without all the mess and fuss of charcoal. Now I love charcoal, great flavor, but for our purposes, we really like the propane. So Hannah's gonna tell you some of what she likes about having this grill. I think one of the biggest advantages of having the grill, it expands the menu options so much. So uh, you're not stuck thinking, oh, am I going to find a place to cook something hot? Or oh, I don't have sandwich stuff. I don't know what to make to take to the lake. So I felt like it really like expands our options for food. We've done hamburgers on it. We've done hot dogs. We've done foil packets and chicken. And so it's really expanded our menu option. Yeah, absolutely. And we found that a lot of times we just ended up eating peanut butter and jelly when we were going out on the boat, and I am not a fan of eating peanut butter and jelly all the time, or ham and cheese sandwiches, whatever, but then you worry about the, the cheese or the meat or the, the mayonnaise going bad. So uh, this is so nice. We take a little cooler and uh, are able to do a lot of things. Like she mentioned, we've already done uh, hamburgers, uh, which you should have seen in a previous video, and then I think probably in a, a future video you're going to see us doing the foil packs with potatoes and carrots, and as well as chicken on the grill. And then just last night we did hot dogs. One thing that I like about this is that everything's pretty much self-contained here. We're able to put our propane fuel bottle inside, the regulator, the lighter, and we even are able to put our grill pinchers right here. Obviously these don't come with the grill, but they fit really nicely right there. So Hannah, go ahead and show us how to set the grill up. We've got our propane bottle, our regulator, and our lighter. So pretty easy to pop those legs down in place, and as you saw, they go to hold the lid on top. Uh, then the only thing you really have to do is uh, put this regulator on the side. And again, there is some assembly required when you first get this out of the box, but we're just showing you what it would be once you have it set up. And then uh, just screw this propane bottle uh, right into your regulator. Turn your valve on, stick the lighter in through the front, and light up your grill. And within just a minute, you've got some nice hot heat and you're ready to cook. So this grill uses these one pound propane cylinders. These come from Walmart. They're about $3.50 per bottle. They come, I think, normally in a two pack. And one of the things I was really worried about is how long these would actually last. It seems like a fairly small bottle when you compare it to the normal 20 pound big cylinders that you use on your grill on your patio. Uh, so what I've started doing is I've actually started weighing it each time that I use it to determine how much propane is left. And I've been really pleasantly surprised. So we've used this several times right so far on this first bottle. And um, the first time we ran it about 15 minutes on full blast, which is what the manufacturer recommends, just to get off any of the manufacturing oils or anything like that. Uh, and it only used maybe two ounces out of this one pound bottle. The next time we cooked hamburgers for us and a, another family, I think we maybe had two batches of hamburgers we cooked and it only used a few ounces. The next time we cooked chicken as well as those foil packs and it took a long time. It was more of a baking process for those foil packs. I think that time it used uh, maybe six or seven ounces. I didn't mark that one down. And then last night we cooked hot dogs on it 
and we only used about an ounce out of this. If my calculations are correct, depending on your heat settings, whether it's full blast or half, uh, half uh, temperature here, half heat, I'm going to guess you're going to get almost two hours of grill time out of one of these bottles at $3.50. So really, uh, that's very economical as well. So I want to just say that I think this has been a great purchase for our family. I'm not the one who does the grilling so much, but I do the planning. So I feel like it's really expanded our options of what I can plan to have on a day out at the lake. So let me kind of close out the video here with some of the pros and cons of this particular grill. On the pro side, it's very inexpensive, so that's a huge plus. And really, I have found running it to be pretty economical as well, as I already mentioned. Uh, these little fuel cylinders last a long time, and I'm going to say it's probably between 50 cents to a dollar uh, to grill, sometimes even less depending on what you're grilling. Uh, another big pro for me is that it all folds up nicely. It's not super, super compact, but even in our small boat, we can find room to get it in there, and it doesn't take up a ton of space uh, when everything's put together. Uh, again, as we already mentioned, the big pro for us uh, as would be the case with any portable grill, is just the ability to be able to get off the beaten path a little bit and still have a fun time making a nicer meal than just eating sandwiches. Um, we even one time just went back in a cove on this lake, away from the crowds and no picnic area, just spread a picnic blanket and made our hot dog. So really has allowed our family to have some enjoyable experiences that way. If I was to be a nitpicky and give a few negatives of this grill, I would say the first one would be that it's not the highest quality craftsmanship and the toughest built grill. It is fairly thin metal and you can just kind of tell it's cheaply made, but of course it was a cheap price. Now this is not a long-term review, so I really can't tell you how it's gonna hold up after months or years, but we've gotten quite a bit of use out of it already and it's holding up just fine and I think we're gonna get more than our money's worth out of the grill. If I was to really be nitpicky and give one other thing that I wish would be different about the grill, I wish there was a piezoelectric igniter on it, similar to the push button lighters that you would get on maybe a bigger gas grill. It's not a big deal. We just have to remember to bring one of these aim and flame or Bic lighters with us. But I'm always worried that I'm gonna forget this and I'm gonna end up uh, not being able to cook my food. Like I said, we try to keep everything in here all together. And so usually that's not an issue. But if it was me, I just wish that that lighter would be built right in. Now, I did look on eBay and Amazon and you can actually get those lighters and probably with a little bit of DIY ingenuity, you could probably add one of those uh, igniters to this grill without much problem. But again, that's being very nitpicky and again, remembering that this was a very inexpensive grill. Overall, we feel like it's been a great purchase for our family. It's really helped us to maximize and enjoy our adventures and experiences in the outdoors, uh, just helping us to have some nice meals and just really enjoy the fact even of grilling out in creation. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in the grill, I will leave a, a link in the description as well. Until next time, I hope you remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.